full-time dragsters have been racing since before you were even a gleam in your father's eye. And now they want to take the racing from the streets to the tracks. And along with Big Willie Robinson, the president of the Brotherhood of Street Racers, they're going to show us how. Hell, they've been, well, they've been drag racing ever since the car was invented. Basically, we'd hang out at a drive-in restaurant or uh, just a parking lot someplace, and we'd talk and we'd argue about who had the faster car, and we would bet the money, and we'd just go out and race. We'd find what we consider to be a relatively safe place to race, and we'd go race. But if you just come up along somebody on the road, you'd rev his engine, you'd rev your engine, and you go. That's how it all started. Racing is getting dangerous now. There's a lot of people that go out there and people are kind of going crazy. In the olden days, we'd go out there and set up a race. We do our race and everybody knows to stand clear. And these days, there's so many kids that nobody pays attention to what everybody else is doing and it just gets dangerous. People get killed, people get hurt. Cars are a lot faster, a lot more dangerous now. People can get seriously hurt street racing in cars now because they're traveling at speeds on the street where there's nobody policing the safety aspect of the vehicle. Oh. It's much faster. Our cars used to go maybe 70, 75 and a quarter mile. These cars are quick, and you don't know how quick they are until you're flying along at 110, 115 miles an hour drag racing somebody, and something happens, or you need to stop. And you're not going to be able to. And it's not going to be a little accident. It's going to be big, and it's going to change your life. It's not worth it. Put your cars together. Take them to a drag strip, take them somewhere where it's safe, and the worst thing that's going to happen is you'll tow your car home. They won't take you to the cemetery. These kids need some place to exercise this excitement that they have, and if there's no place to go, they're going to do it on the street. I know Big Willie Robinson from back in the late 70s when Terminal Island used to be open. He was very functional in trying to keep everybody off the street. Big Willie's always tried to get the youth involved in racing. His object is to make things safe for the streets of the city of Los Angeles and also for the kids who like to race. Our main goal is just bringing everybody together, white, black, brown, and yellow, to have fun. We have over a million members. It's free to become a member of Mystery Racers. There's no membership dues. All we do is ask that you write your name down, and we use those as petitions all over the world to get other racetracks open and going. Well, as the president of the Brotherhood, my main goal is to get them a legal place. But in the meantime, for them to try to organize, think safely. We can easily replace the car, but we can't replace you. As far as Southern California is concerned, just have patience, and I will get the track open for them on Terminal Island. Our track is out there for the kids. We tell all the street racers that this is your track, so don't mess it up. If you want to race and negotiate, tell us we don't care how much you run for. If it's just for prestige or if it's for thousands of dollars, we don't care. We just want to make sure it's a good race and everybody's happy. When the track is open, the streets are always a lot safer. There's a lot less action on the streets. To be honest with you, no matter what you do, seriously, I don't care if you have a track open every night of the week, some of these idiots will still be out there street racing. No, it won't put an end to it, but it'll knock it down a lot if we get it back. We have to have it back. When I used to go to the street races, they were mostly old school type racers and we'd go with our Hondas and imports and there would be a little bit of rivalry there. There's not a day that goes by that I don't pass by a American car and he revs on me or something and I just have to let them know that sometimes V8s aren't as fast as they think they are. 
muscle cars on imports. That's always an instant rival. You see a Mustang, it's always going to come down to a little drag race right there. Hate American cars because they hate on imports so bad. That's the problem we're having now. They're having a little feud going on with the American-made cars. And that's what we're trying to stop. We don't need to be feuding amongst ourselves. A race car is a race car. Regardless of how fast or how tiny your car is, you still, who wants to get to the finish line first? We're all racers. We just here, we want to race. My car against yours. Well, the car is a tool that allows one to show their prowess and talent as a driver. And the car is important, but the driver's really the ultimate tool. You can take a mediocre driver and put him in a great car and he'll never win. You can put a great driver and put him in a mediocre car and he can win.